I just got off work. We're getting ready to show you guys death camus. The whole plant is poisonous. The bulb has most of the concentration, but the rest of the plant itself is poisonous. It's the first thing to come up in the spring. So it's the first greenery, so animals tend to want to eat it. And when it's real, when the ground is real saturated, the bulb will pull out. Like cows and stuff like that, horses will eat it. And it'll kill them dead. There's a dead cow behind me, we believe, died from death camus. All the little white flowers you see, them are death camus. A lot of people confuse this with wild onion. It is not wild onion. It doesn't smell like wild onion. Don't eat it, because it'll kill people as well. The symptoms of death camus is frothing at the mouth, tremors, look like seizures, uh, bleeding out the mouth, the eyes, all the orifices. It's a real deadly plant. If you're a rancher, you should get educated on this plant. Or if you move into a place in the west that may have death camus and you're wanting livestock, you should learn what this plant is. If you don't, you could have mysterious deaths. And the plant right below here was eaten by a cow or a horse or something. It probably has an acute dose. There's different dosings for different animals. I don't have the dosings with me right now, but it will kill anything that eats it if it eats enough of it. So make yourself aware, get educated on this plant if you want to be ranching. Here's a closer look at the death camus, the bulb, stalk, leaves. And you see how it's got like a gla uh, grass blade on it? Onion has more of a tuber or a, a tube leaf. But uh, the only way to really get rid of this plant is to dig it up and crush the bulb. There's some poisons that will kill it. But if you have a range unit like this, pretty much anything won't work because it's just too big but if you have a little 20 acre spot where you have death camus on it digging it up is probably your best bet and you got to crush the bulb and destroy the plant like that and then get rid of it usually use a shovel but yeah don't try to just pull it because it won't work because usually it just pulls off at the stock I'll use this one as an example if you grab it and try to pull it the bulb will not pull out, so next year this will be a, value, a plant that will grow again.